Zachary Fowler. And that's the Wooded Beardsman. And this is season four of the Wilderness Living Challenge. The goal of the challenge is to gain or maintain our body weight while eating nothing but wild foods. So last October, I headed up to the backwoods of Canada to meet up with the Wooded Beardsman and do just that for seven days. Last time on episode zero of the Wilderness Living Challenge, season four. Let's see if we can... All right, ready? Time to put the ants in. All you need is a shovel and a slingshot. I know, right? <laughs> It used to be all I needed was a shovel and a slingshot, and now I got a car full of stuff. All right, Canada bound, here I go. All right, just past the Canadian border. I said I'm okay with the shotgun and 25 rounds, and I'm North Bay bound. Oh, because it's, it's the wrong kind of bloody for YouTube. Don't look. Don't the uh, unlisted link below will have this next uh, greeting because there's too much blood around for YouTube. All right, so I'm going into my first Canadian tire. Apparently, it's a, it's a Canadian Walmart, right? The Canadian version of Walmart. It's a Canadian. It's Walmart's nemesis in Canada. Came in. I, we didn't even get to look around. They kicked us out. <laughs> So if I only get one hair, one hair, then it's a, a literally a hundred and sixty dollar hair. <laughs> and now, catch and cook black bear using dogs. <laughs> Good old Subaru goes right through it. <laughs> We're getting out there now. How far are we? We've been out this for few clumps, like 10, 10, 10 K or something. Yeah, we've 10, been... 5 miles, I don't know. Yeah. What do you say? What's that in American? <laughs> exactly. It's uh, 5 miles or so out here into the bush, following him with the dog. Because you won't have it, a gun? It doesn't matter, like, you don't, ha you can. I mean, it's, it's just oh, almost... If I don't have to wear this stylish wear orange, then... Yeah, I wouldn't wear it. Yeah, don't wear it. <laughs> okay. What I tell people that aren't hunting, I said, you're not hunting, there's no bound for you to wear orange. Sure. Whatsoever. Okay. All right, guys, we've got Matt here. Matt uh, Hawthorne, you want your full name out there? Sure. Yep. Okay, we're going to put your contact information up. Yep. Um, right now, if you guys want to come out and you don't want to do the bear bait, you want to run out and, and, and get a bear and do something a little bit more exciting, this is the way to do it. Yep. So why don't you tell people what we're going to do? Like, we're going to drive up the road. Yep. This morning, we're uh, just uh, driving these logging roads, and uh, the, the bears are into the oaks right now, so it's a little tougher. They're not hitting the baits. So we're just gonna drive around and see if we can't uh, uh, strike one or whatever. Uh, the dogs pick up the scent from the bear and yeah. So we're gonna let the dogs out. Everyone, like drive up, let the dogs out. Yep. The dogs gonna sniff around and will they let us know if there's a bear? Around? Yeah, they they could trail it over like you know tw up to 12 hours. If the bear crosses the road in 12 hours. They can follow that track. Sure. Oh, so okay. They, so within 12 hours. Yeah, within 12 we're not, hours. We're not running after the bear for 12 no, hours. No, it's never a sure thing. Uh, hunting is hunting. We could go all day today, and the bears don't move. And uh, you know, it's just so we can go around the corner and find one. I mean, it's yeah, it's like that. It's so it's, for anybody who thinks this is like cruel and unnecessary, like we're out here trying to get food. Yep. We'd rather eat organic. Yeah, organic grass. You yep. know, grass fed, berry fed. You know, they're yep. eating all the good stuff. This is the way to do it. If you want to go hunt bear, you can't just spot bears, right? Yeah. The chances tough. of you just coming across a bear out in the open is almost zero. This country is so dense and thick, you can't spot a black object in the woods that you would identify as a bear anyway. So you're either using bait when you're up here, yep. or like what Matt's doing, using dogs. Yep. So if you guys want to book something like this, in the description I have the information. Most of my viewers here are <laughs> Americans, so you guys come up, and yep. we're just in Northern Ontario, yep. uh, around North Bay. So it's uh, it's pretty accessible yep. to a lot of Americans. Hey. So, Bert. yeah. These, yep. guys, these guys want to go, so. <laughs> yeah, they're ready. Let's they're rock ready. it. <laughs> we're gonna get a barrel. We'll get into the they're fast, they're on to something, or possibly. Wait and find out. Max. So how do you know when they're on to something? Well, it uh the my dog that I trust the most, Trevor, was indicating that he was winning something, so 
you know, he'll uh, he'll do a little search around here and he'll start opening, like barking. Yeah. And you'll probably cold trail for a little bit and then we'll let out a few more dogs for backup, kind of help him and we go from there. But it's, you gotta kind of doing this, rigging and stuff, you gotta kind of trust him and take a benefit of doubt that he's smelling something and you gotta kind of know by, you know, experience, whatever, with this dog that he's been, you know, this is how he's barked when he smells a bear sort of thing. No luck, guys? Nope. Come on, let's get it. You up there? Oh, no, you're just gonna bear with Get in there. So we're just heading out. Matt's got his uh, bait out here. Got a couple spots of baits, and then if uh, something's been visiting him, might catch a trail here with the dogs and move on further. So there's his baits. And uh, we came out there and he's checking his camera. And he says that uh, although at this time of year with the acorns falling and things like that, it's no guarantee. At some point they'll probably come around and something will scarf those up. So what now? Did you, did <laughs> you, you see want... anything? No, it was just a couple coons a couple feeding coons. on the apples and corn that I had. And so we'll just uh, continue on. And it's nice to check though, you never know. You Fe feeding all the wildlife besides the ones we're looking for. That's what they're balking out there. Yeah, wolf traps, see that? They smelt the wolf. Yeah. I can't believe you spotted them from the vehicle well, while we're moving. Well, you do this moving. every day, you get the, you know, like the rain stands that sand right up on end. And you can just see little, you know, little pack mark there. And you, you'll definitely notice a bear track on that sand. Not much into the apples by the look of it. No. They've got the Still cornhole cool. dug out, but. What's the date today? 25. She hasn't been here since then. 22nd. Was the last time they were here. Oh. Yeah. Not into the, not into the um, apples. But they've dug out that hole, like that hole was full of corn. And they've dug it out. They need the ground to uh, digest food or whatever, like they get maybe minerals or whatever out of the yeah. ground too. So they seem to like holes in the ground as uh, baiting sites or whatever that they come back and they'll eat it all and play and dig and roll around in it and stuff. So so these bait sites are just a start point for you? Yeah. You're not, you're not putting stands up in the no. trees and nothing no. like that? No, it's just, uh, you know, check if that's the right bear. We don't want to really run a, a pig sow with uh, small cubs, you know, that's kind of just ethical for me not to uh, shoot them or whatever you know and yeah it's like fishing yeah just it's like, like catch fishing. and release yeah. it's just you there know you everybody's happy take some pictures and away we go yeah cool yeah come on skitter come on skitter i see a barrel right there do you see a barrel yeah a blue barrel out there is that it could be that would be it bear's been here he's all locked up before from last night uh it could have been a couple days okay Where's it, buddy? There it is. Oh. There he goes. That's a good sound. Good oh, looks like he's got something. He's on to it. He's got him? Got him. They got him? They got him. Oh, right, treat him? Treat him. Oh, sounds like they're just ahead of us. We're almost up on them. Let's see what they got. Well, we got them. They treat him, but he's just a little cub. He's not something we're gonna shoot. No. We go find another one today. Yeah. 
I'll let this guy live to fight another day. Oh, he will for sure. You can't be hurtless all the time, eh? Yeah. I'm eating, I'm hungry. I don't call it hurtless, I call it surviving. Well, that's surviving. You're only gonna survive off a little bit on that one. Yeah. pounds at 40 days, so that's good. Right, cool. A little training while you got them. Yeah. He's just a young, he's been on a few trees, but not much scent off them little bears. I think it's like a, a like a nature thing where the young have less scent than the, you know, to protect them from the predators. All right, should we continue on? Let's do it, let's see if we can find something bigger. Okay, dogs. Onward, onward and bigger. No, no, come on, in. <laughs> oh boys, oh boys. Good boy, Timber. This one's mine. I saw him. <laughs> He's right. Uh, oh, yeah, right. See him on the branch? Yeah, I do. Oh. That was the first one? Yeah, that's the first oh, shot. The yeah. Oh, the second shot. Oh, the second shot. Nice. Do some good eating there. There we go. There was a bunch of them flying around here. Saw another one fly over this way. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think. Yeah, those are chantelles. Yeah, these yeah, are these chantelles. Are. These are the legit oh. ones. These are the good ones. Yeah. See where the where the veins, the um, no, are they not? Uh, what do they call that? Gills. Yeah. Where the gills come down to the stem. Instead of the stem coming to the gills, that's the real chanterelle. Yeah. The fake chanterelles will just be stock right to the top, and then the gills. Let's let's harvest these bad boys up. We got quite a few of them. Yeehaw. Not a bad haul. I didn't get my bird with the slingshot, but uh, I got some mushrooms. Definitely came close to the bird. Where's your skitter? Oh. Skitter's on to something. That's skitter, that's the, the lead nose. <laughs> So you see the dogs started over here, they went down, they're working their way up this way. Hopefully they're on a good trail. We're listening out the window. Out there into the woods. To, in the rain. In the rain to see if we can't hear uh, the right kind of uh, tonguing. So that we know that they're, they're on the freshest trail, right? Yep. And, uh, or around a tree which we'll be able to see right here when they just keep circling in one spot. There's a pod, yeah. that's solid. So we're just checking out where the bear crossed the road. Their dogs are still running. We've been at it for a while now. It's been a long run. One falling behind. And this is a spot here where he came blasting out of the bushes with the dogs on his tail. And I can see where he went into the woods over here. It looks like the dogs are dogs are coming. Might be behind us. And they may be crossing right in front of us or behind us with the bear in tow. Or in pursuit of the bear. Yeah, see how the, it's all turned around there? So they're all piled up on a tree. We're right next to the bear. Okay. Film a little bit. Walking in there. I can film a little bit.
Oh, my Good shot. All right, we did it. Holy cow, man, my heart is Thanks, that's awesome. racing that was, after that. that was wild. That was what a. What do you think, Zach? Yeah. How did that bear know that we asked him to tree 20 feet off the road? <laughs> and before like, dark. And yeah. before dark. I promised Zach some wild. Yeah, and some more. <laughs> We're going to go take the meat and go live wild with it. Join me every Friday night at 9 for new episodes as we spend the next seven days traveling further into the Canadian outback, surviving only off the bear that we harvested and other game we could pick up along the way. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah you're, you're taking up. You're good. All right, um, what's the name of your outfitter? Fast Track Kennels. I left it. That's my hard thing is remembering to say things that I'm trying <laughs> to say. Make sure you tell people to subscribe to my channel. Yeah. And I'll tell them I don't care. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. like Fast Track Kennels on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for joining us for this hunt and thank you Fast Track Kennels for taking us out with your dog. Yep. That was an amazing time. You have a good time? I had a blast. That was, that, yeah, I did. that was fun. It was fun. But yeah, we, we had to work for it too. That was not an easy thing. We had, and what, like a, almost a two hour chase here at the end yeah, close. to get this. Three. And then we treated that one earlier. What an adventure. Make sure you subscribe to Chris, the Wooded Beardsman. Don't subscribe to my channel. To, he, uh, uh, okay. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> no, don't, don't do it. Don't make sure you subscribe <laughs> no, to the Wooded Beardsman. Don't, don't. Or, or don't, because no, he doesn't don't. Care. care. He doesn't care. And Fast Track Channels on Facebook, you can find him there. I highly recommend it. It was a great time. We had a blast. Let me cut in here, because if you're an American and you want him to hunt, go on a hunt with him, then send him a message and he'll put you on the list. And and, We're and then when you it. get your BMA, then then he'll take you out. Yep. Right. Yeah. 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 I think that pretty much covers it. If you want to see Chris's side of the story, in the link below, it'll be his video. You can watch this adventure from his perspective. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Fowler out. I'm Zachary Fowler, and this is Catching Kooka Black Beer. I like you. <laughs> I'm Zachary Fowler, and this. I'm Zachary Fowler, and this is Catch and Cook a Black Beer in Canada with dogs and the Wooded Beardsman. Let's do it.